Hi, my name is Amma Darpa, and I'm a mental health therapist, and I'm an author. I am here to talk about my upcoming children's book called Nakia's Wish. Um, this book uh, was inspired by my eight-year-old daughter. I think as an adult or even as a parent, um, we take a lot of pride in working a lot and providing for our families um, that we don't get to spend um, a lot of time with our kids. Um, and I remember one time she asked me if I used to play a lot as a kid and I knew she asked me that question because um, seeing her mom work a lot and not having time to play um, I guess she wanted to find out if I know how to play so this inspired me to create this children's book so the name of this book is called Nakia's Wish it's set to release September 2022 um, it's going to be on bookbaby.com um, and so it's about this six-year-old girl named Nakia who it's summertime and she is bored at home. Um, her mom is working a lot and one day she asked her mom why she didn't have time to play. Her mom said that she was really busy during the weekday so she would make time to play during the weekend. Nakia is very impatient. She wants mom to play all day long because as a kid, all you think about is to play, right? To have fun with your friends. So one night she gets really, really sad. Um, and then there is a moon passing by her window and saw this little sad girl. And she's like, the moon asked um, Nakia why she was sad. She said, oh, my mom cannot play with me. Um, and she's sad. And so then the moon is like, Okay, how can I be of help? Nakia makes a wish to turn her mom into a kid again so she can play with her mom. Because if mom is a kid again, mom can play all day long. Because as an adult, we don't play enough, right? So she gets her wish and eventually mom is turned into a kid again. And she finds herself the first, second day. She's having fun with mom. She wants more wishes. The moon warns her, try to warn her that if she keeps asking for more wishes, something will happen. And eventually... She keeps asking for more wishes and then um, mom finally turns into a baby where she has to take care of mom. Now she finds that it's a lot of responsibility to take care of mom and to have time to play. Because you have to cook, you have to clean and things like that. So I kind of turned this story back onto the child just to create an understanding from um, mom's point of view and also Nakia's point of view. So, um, yeah, so she finally um, was tired. Nakia was tired. She tells him, when I want my mom back, this is a lot of work. I don't even have time to play. Um, and then she, she learns a valuable lesson about um, listening and being patient. Um, and I wanted to create a book that, you know, gets parents and kids to be able to understand each other's perspective. Um, and to create an important dialogue between um, parents and kids because I think it's very important to have the understanding. Um, as a mental health therapist, I think it's so important um, for uh, parents and kids um, to uh, um, know each other, um, to know um, how to approach certain topics. And I definitely want to keep writing books like this um, just to help parents and kids have that open dialogue. I started writing this book about a year ago. Um, I was trying to find it illustrated. It was a lot of work. I was finally able to find one from Virginia. My friend Quejo, also known as Citizens, Citizens, he captured exactly um, what I wanted to write in my story. Um, and we ended up finishing the book in a year. And I'm so excited to release this book. Um, what is unique about this book is that it comes from a place of, as a parent, as a mental health therapist, um and being able to use both best of both worlds to bring a unique characteristic um and understanding into being a parent um as well and also bringing more african-american books black children's book into this world because we need more of that positiveness about um being black in um in america so that's the gist of my book. I'm super excited. It's going to be found on, again on babybook.com, um, bookbaby.com, sorry. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for supporting. You can find me on Instagram, Amadarkwa, on Facebook as well. 
I want to take this opportunity to thank Undiscovered Ghana, a company that strives to empower small businesses. They can be found on all over social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. Uh, please subscribe and tell them that I referred you. Again, thank you. And yeah, I'm looking forward to publishing my book.